What you're looking at is actually not a hummingbird, it's actually a moth. These insects are known as hummingbird moths or hummingbird clear wings. They are beneficial pollinators and are found all throughout the continental United States and Western Canada. You can expect to find one of these moths on the edges of forests, open meadows, and suburban gardens, and they are most commonly seen in the summer months, especially August. The feeding behavior of these moths mirrors that of hummingbirds. Using their elongated proboscis, they extract nectar from flowers while hovering, just like their avian counterparts. This adaptation is a strategy for their survival, allowing them to exploit floral resources that may be inaccessible to other insects. The moths are also a lot smaller in size, only being a couple inches in length. They also obtain many different kinds of colors. Hummingbird moths have a furry greenish, yellow, or tan abdomen. And their two wings are clear, hence the name, and have a reddish brown border. They also have white underneath their abdomen. The life cycle starts out with the female laying eggs. These females will lay their eggs on their host plants, such as several honeysuckle species, butterfly bushes, and dogbane. After the eggs hatch, which can take up to 30 days, small green caterpillars, which are also referred to as hornworms, will appear. These caterpillars have small white stripes on their sides and a spiky tail-like horn. These caterpillars will then undergo metamorphosis like any other moth or butterfly and will then turn into the hummingbird moth. The hummingbird moth was first described by Carl Linnaeus in 1758. Since then, these moths have been seen as a lucky omen. In particular, a swarm of these moths was seen flying across the English Channel on D-Day, the day of the Normandy landings in the Second World War. These moths, along with other moths, are in a family of sphinx because their larvae were thought to resemble the Egyptian sphinx. If you want to see some of these moths next spring and summer, I would recommend you plant some of their favorite flowers as I mentioned earlier. And the next time you are out in your yard and see what looks like a hummingbird, it could in fact be a moth. I hope you all enjoyed and learned something new, and thanks for watching.